Just over a month after becoming Prime Minister, Liz Truss endured the kind of humiliation most PMs never face. Sacking a Chancellor, reversing a massive tax change, all in the hope of rescuing the economy. Good afternoon. My conviction that this country needs to go for growth is rooted in my personal experience. No hint then of the surging interest rates caused by the notorious tax cuts of just three weeks ago until... It is clear that parts of our mini-budget went further and faster than markets were expecting. We need to act now to reassure the markets of our fiscal discipline. I have therefore decided to keep the increase in corporation tax that was planned by the previous government. When Liz Truss said the previous government, she meant the government she was part of. And then came another huge U-turn with an announcement that public spending will be cut. And spending will grow less rapidly than previously planned. The Prime Minister then confirmed that her friend Kwasi Kwarteng would be replaced as Chancellor by the former Health Secretary, not an ally, Jeremy Hunt. I want to be honest, this is difficult, but we will get through this storm. Liz Truss was then asked why she hadn't sacked herself, given that she had sacked the Chancellor for implementing tax changes that she'd ordered. I'm absolutely determined to see through what I have promised. Prime Minister, the uh, former Tory Chancellor, Philip Hammond, has just said that you have totally trashed the Tory party's election-winning reputation for economic competence. Will you apologise to your party? Well, I am determined to deliver on what I set out when I campaigned to be party leader. Today was more jet-setting soap opera than normal politics, with Kwasi Kwarteng ordered home early from the International Monetary Fund in Washington, observed at Heathrow by one circling predator. It's the Prime Minister next, Mr Kwarteng. To be sent home by Liz Truss without a job. Earlier, in Kwasi Kwarteng's resignation letter, he said the Prime Minister had asked him to stand aside for pushing through her vision of optimism, growth and change. Oddly, she replied that she respected the decision to go that he'd taken. So, with Trust warning of spending cuts, how bad will it get? Unless we're going to have tax rises or at least a reversal of the tax cuts that we've seen, it's quite hard to see how you avoid austerity if you really are serious about getting to a fiscally sustainable position. A few of the Prime Minister's supposed friends put on a brave face. These are really difficult times, uh, but the Prime Minister has listened, uh, and I think you know, we expect our politicians to listen and respond, and that is what the Prime Minister has done. I mean, I have no words to describe what she was saying in uh, Downing Street earlier on. It was awful. You know, if she had one chance to reassure backbenchers, she absolutely messed it up. As for her avowed opponents, they showed no mercy. Well, you know, I think the only decent thing that Tory backbenchers could do now is call time on Liz Truss and this entire UK government and allow people across the UK to have a general election. We're on the fourth Conservative Chancellor since July this year. The truth is, another change in who is running the Treasury, another Tory Chancellor, isn't the answer. Yep, he had that fourth Chancellor in the back of his cab. Do you think Liz Truss has any credibility, Liz? Jeremy Hunt knows that he now has the hardest job of his life. As he moves home to rescue our prosperity and maybe save his new neighbour, Liz Truss, from being evicted by her MPs. Robert Peston, News at 10.